Hey everybody, this is John Cook with Angry Antler Outfitters of Ohio. Today I want to do kind of a quick video to address an issue that Wes and I get asked all the time by every man, woman, child, cat, dog, you name it. They're asking it, and that is, where can I get a hairdo at like that? Now, I want you guys to take a good, 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 good look at that hairdo, because you know what? You need to have a strong back and broad shoulders to support a dude like this, because you know why? Everybody is going to make fun of you. I don't know why. A bunch of haters, they just, they're jealous because they can't handle it. I like it because it keeps my brain warm, but hey, who am I? But anyways, actually that's not the question because I just told a little fib, but I had my fingers crossed. But uh, <laughs> but no, actually everybody they want to know, you know, Wes and I, we are a fairly new outfitter, uh, Angry Antler is, and um, people want to know, hey, you know, if we come here, where do we stay? Well, just so happen I have a camera and I'm going to show you. Um, this is a small house, kind of a neat house. It has a little story behind it. This was the first house that I bought when I moved to Ohio. I remodeled it. Uh, later sold it to Wes in April, and that's how we all got to meet. We didn't know each other before that, and uh, but Wes and April kept making babies. They had to move to another place, so this house became a rental house, <clears throat> and we decided to make it our lodge. It's actually for sale, and, and we're not going to uh, not upgrade if we don't get a chance, but you know, just right now, we just hadn't had a chance. But uh, here's the house. Now, please excuse, I have stuff laying all over the place, like stacks of paperwork and things. I've just kind of uh, been living here maybe about a month. I, I moved in. I had to finish some work back in West Virginia. I've been a contractor for over 20 years, had to finish some stuff back there. And now I'm back here. Uh, I think I've been back about six weeks. So I went ahead and stayed here because I had to do some remodeling to the house. We had a roof leak. You might be able to see. Ooh. Up there on the ceiling and got that fixed and got to fix the drywall a couple things like the faucet in the bathtub and uh, just a few other things nothing major but I actually had my bed here in the living room because uh, we're going to change the carpet in one of the bedrooms uh, each bedroom it's just a two-bedroom house it's actually going to have uh, two twin size beds in each bedroom but we took the beds out because I believe Wes said um, they sent them to a church camp or something like that I, I can't remember but uh, I want to kind of show you the house here. So when you do uh, decide to book, you know that you're not going to be in a tent out in a yard or whatever. Uh, this is an awesome house. It may not be the Taj Mahal or whatever, but, but you know what? By having a modern house, um, it allows us to not have to charge major prices. You know, our overhead's low, so we can charge cheaper prices for our hunts. Um, I know I've been to a lot of many, 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 many outfitters. That sounded weird. Many, 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 many. Uh, I've been to many outfitters, and I have stayed in garages, campers, um, hotels, uh, just people's bedrooms in their house, which is kind of weird. But um, so, like I said, this is a little house we use it just for the lodge. Uh, but I want to kind of show you around here. Um, that way, if you are on the fence, and listen, people, this is almost July, and a, a lot of people have been on the fence about, man, I'm, you know, I don't know about booking or whatever. But listen, after the Fourth of July, it gets crazy. So if you're going to do anything, you better start booking while there's still good dates available. Um, I'd like to have a good date, but I don't think there are any good women available. Anyways, what do I know? That's why I stay single. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. While you still have good dates available, uh, listen, you better get booked. We can process a credit card. We can process your wife's credit card. If you find a credit card laying outside in the grass, we'll process it too. It's all good. But <laughs> here's, uh, here's some of the mounts like that. Uh, let's see that fox I killed behind the house here. Uh, some of these mounts or these racks have actually been killed behind the house. Uh... We got a little fireplace, the TV, obviously. Um, my computer, like I said, I hate that my doggone computer is broke. Oops, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I need to, I'm a very neat, organized person, and I need to finish this paperwork and get it all taken care of, and I can't do it because my computer has pootered out. Off from the living room, here is the garage. Uh, back in the corner, we're actually going to make us a scent-free room back there so people can hang all their hunting clothes and stuff in. But there's plenty of room out here to put your totes 
and things of that nature. Um, turn that back off. I'll try to walk you through here without killing myself. So we got a uh, couch and stuff. And we got a couple mounts up there. A little coat closet if you have a little coat. Here's the kitchen area. Dining room, kitchen. All from the kitchen actually is the uh, laundry room. Again, pardon my messes laying around. I got piles of files <laughs> until I get things organized. <coughs> Here is the bathroom. A couple bedrooms back here. <coughs> oh. I've been a contractor over 20 years. You'd think I could turn on a light. Again, the beds aren't back here. There'll be two twin size beds in each bedroom. I want to give you a little shout out to my my uh, mom and dad. They've both both have passed away now, and uh, that little plaque there was from my my brother's funeral. He was my best friend, and um, and that picture there, I actually painted that picture for my mom, I think, when I was in the 10th grade in high school, just a couple years ago. But, no, actually, school's completely different from when I went a few years ago. Uh, again, there's no beds in here. But, again, you know, we got uh, two bedrooms. Each bedroom will have um, two twin beds. And, obviously, I got a twin bed in the living room, uh, which isn't really a normal practice, but... Uh, but I like it in here and keeps it out of the way. All my stuff right now is in a storage unit in West Virginia. And since my divorce, they told me just last week that I have paid over $10,000 in rental fees for a storage unit. I, I can't even keep the building. It's awful. I want to take the door or something. I mean, for ten grand, I should be able to keep something. But Anyways, I uh, wanted you guys to see this video so you can see where you're going to stay when you do come. Uh, if you're on the fence about booking, listen, I'm telling you, and I'm not kidding around. If you don't start booking by the 4th of July or, or <laughs> shortly after, because things are going to start getting crazy. That's when we started getting a ton of calls last year, and we wasn't even a business. Well, we were. We just wasn't booking hunts at the time. But uh, <clears throat> So you need to start booking these hunts. Get the dates while the dates are available. Um you know, again, we can process my credit card, however uh, it works for you guys. But, but man, get on the books. You guys are going to have a great time. We have a bunch of work to do still. Uh, you know, we've got about three months before the season comes in. And, you know, we've got about 20 acres of food plots we're going to get planted that are just scattered out here and there on throughout our leases. Um, so we want you all to see where you're going to stay. You know, if you're on the fence, man, get with us. Uh, my number is 740 285 uh, Six seven seven six. It's the hair, man. It makes me forget. I think, but no, I'm kidding. Wes's number is seven four zero two eight five twenty six thirty. Um, I think I told him, told you my number right. But anyways, I'll, I'll show it to you. Here. Let me show you. Let me take you. Oh, here, I'll take you for a walk. It says right there, Wes and John. Uh, kidding. <laughs> so, anyways, you guys get with us. And we'd like to hear from you. Call if you have questions or anything like that. Wes and I can make up something if we don't have an answer. Uh, but again, we look forward to seeing all the new guys coming in. Very, very, very excited about what's going on for this year and this season. And uh, even for next season. So, you know, we've, we were growing over and over year after year. And, um, and we want to do this upright so people can have a good place to hunt. So, Anyways, you guys get with us. Give us a call. We appreciate you. And uh, I hope you like my little tour, my little video. I don't know why, but this video was supposed to be short, but it's over nine minutes. So excuse that. But you guys take care. Bye-bye.